I'm Ruth Buzzy, and I am a worker bee. All day long, I'm buzzing here, I'm buzzing there, and I'm building nests, and I'm collecting pollen. I am so busy, and you know what? I'm organized. I know exactly where to put the nectar that I bring into the hive, and I know how to build the cells. Every single cell is a hexagon. I have to build six sides, and I'm so busy, but it's organized. If I built the cells like a circle, that wouldn't work because they all have to fit together and to make a big beehive. If I built the cells like a triangle, that wouldn't work because it doesn't make a beehive. If I built squares, no way. So I have to build the same thing and I have to be organized about it. I have to cooperate with the other bees so we work together because if we didn't work together and it wasn't organized, the nest wouldn't look right, and we wouldn't be able to turn the nectar into honey, so we wouldn't be able to put the honey in the cells, and we wouldn't be able to feed all the bees and the baby bees. And then there's a whole other group of us that take care of the baby bees. So we all know exactly what our jobs are. We're very organized. We do our job, and we do it right, because if we didn't, the whole bee nest and colony would fall apart. So it's really important to be organized, let me tell you. I should know. Hi, I'm here with Christina Anderson, who works at the Hopkinton Post Office, among other things. And we're here to talk about being organized and why being organized is a good thing. So Christina, I know that you do many things in your life, and one of them is work at the post office. Yeah. So. To do that, um, is there an organization in the back? Because it's mysterious in the back, and I know there are lots of shelves. So can you tell us what's back there and how it's organized? Um, well, I mean, there's different sections for everything. You know, there's a section to organize the regular mail. There's a section to organize the magazine, section to organize the packages. It's all definitely has to be organized back there. It's just a mess. So Christmas time's a mess. So <laughs> anyways, but yeah, we have different different areas where all the different mail is sorted and you know, right in the middle, we have all different um, carts, you know, to put the packages in for each carrier. Each carrier has their own cart. Each carrier has their own slot and everything. So, you yeah, know, with the dispatch all has to be organized because, you know, you got to know which ones go in which place. And it's crazy. <laughs> so if you're not organized, you're a mess. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I would expect because we know that a lot, we, I mean, Individually, everyone puts a lot of mail in the slot, mm -hmm. so and it all gets where it's going. Yep. So we would expect that it has to be organized and know where to put it and what, you mm -hmm. know, even the, the P.O. boxes, yep. you have to know which box to put the thing in and they're all slotted like that. Yep. So, um, so, be, so you're very organized at work because you have to be because that's the job. Mm -hmm. So how uh, are you organized as, at home as a person individually, as a mom? Um, I try to be. I mean, like, I have all the different calendars. I got two of them on my phone. I got two of them on my wall. Reminders, everything. It, it's a lot easier nowadays <laughs> than it was when I was growing up. I wish I was more organized growing up, but now I am, yeah, because I have, you know, kids and different practices and grandkids and it's wow. family stuff. You know, yeah, if it's not on my calendar, then I don't know what's there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. That's great. So being organized means that you get where you're going, that the mail gets where it's going, that you remember what you're doing because you check your calendar. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, did your, were your parents good role models for this or how did you learn to be organized? And my mother is a master organizer. She has everything organized, even down to sewing buttons. She's, mm -hmm. she's like OCD organized. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So I took some of that. Yeah. I mean, like my kitchen, I like to have it organized, but my life, I'm still kind of working it out, but I've oh. learned a few tricks. So as long as you can pick up those few little things and work on it from there, the calendars help. So definitely the calendar. That's great. <laughs> I love it. So what would you say to kids? Because we have kids watching the show. Why should kids be organized? Why is it a good thing? Because you don't want to go through life just winging it. Trust me, I've done it. It's not worth it. you got to be organized with your time, with your money, definitely. That's one thing I'm not organized with, which I wish I was, but... Definitely try to figure out your own organization skills and stick with it. And everyone's got something different. So try to figure out what works for you. And it'll make your life a lot easier. <laughs> Trust me, if you can figure it out before all the chaos comes into <laughs> your life. <laughs> but even if the chaos does come, 
you get yourself organized again and you start again and, and it yeah. helps. Yeah, All right. And then eventually you just figure out what works for you, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So figure out your own organization if it's your personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if you're at a job, you organize according to the job and the rules. And calendars are helpful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have Google Calendar. I get the calendar that comes on my phone. And everything's synced up. So, yeah. yeah that's all good. <laughs> yeah. All right, kids. So it's good to be organized. I'm here with Caleb, Julia, and Isabella, and we're going to talk about being organized today. So Caleb, why is being organized a good thing to do? Because then, like, you can find stuff easier, and it's just very a, a lot easier. Yes, it is easier. And what about your desk? When you go up to your classroom, is your desk organized? Do you have everything where you want it to be? Um, not that organized, no. But you know it should be organized, right? Yes. Yes. And if you took time to organize your desk, what would your desk look like? It would look organized, but it doesn't right now. But does organized mean all the books are on one side and all the folders are on the other side? Or what does organized mean? Uh, you know where stuff is for, like, to have it. And so you always know where it is to get it out quickly. Perfect. So being organized means you know where everything is and you can get it out quickly when you need it. Is that right? Yes. Thank you so much, Caleb. That was awesome. Okay, Julia, I want to ask you a question. Um, so what, why is being organized important? I see that you have a brownie uniform, Daisy uniform on, and you have lots of petals. Did you have to be organized to get these Girl Scout awards? Yes. So how, do, how were you organized when you did your awards? Um, well, when we got stuff, we had to keep them in our bags. So, because when they said, we need your whatever, you had to take it out. Right, so you knew which bag your things were in that you needed for your certain um, petal that you were earning, right? Yeah. Right. And do you, are you organized in school and at home, too? Yes. And how? How are you organized? Do you have things organized in your bedroom? Yeah. I put like my books on the bookshelf and I put my jewelry in the jewelry box. Great, so you can find it when you need to find it, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Julia, that's great. Okay, now we have Isabella. So, you heard the question, I'll ask it again. How is being organized a good thing? And I see that you are a daisy, no, Girl Scout. Brownie, Brownie sorry. So, of course, because it's brown. Um, so how, how is being organized a helpful and good thing? Um, it means that if you if your desk is not organized, um, you can't find anything. But if it is organized, you can find what you need. Right. So again, having an organized desk is helpful in school. Right. And do you ever make lists of things you need to do? Or do you ever try to organize your, your things at home and have all the dolls in one place and the toys in another place? Yeah. Yeah, and, and how does that help you? Good. That's good. Okay, thanks, Isabella. I appreciate your time. I'm here with Alex Dorson, who is the site director at the Ashland YMCA Schools Out program. We're borrowing him for today, and we appreciate that. So I assume being a site director means you have to be organized and know which your employees are at the site and what activities are going on. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about how you learned to be this organized person? I mean, I think it's just something you learn throughout the years. A lot of my teachers helped me out with that, and we're trying to work instill that in the kids that we're working with now, teach them how organization is a great thing. Uh, it helps you stay obviously on task and, and, and get your stuff done at school and at home and things like that. That's great. So is it sometimes like juggling cats? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's tough, it's difficult, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Okay. So when you have a, a typical day, how many employees do you have to manage and, and organize? Uh, on a given day, it's three to four um, staff members a day. And then we have about 40 kids over in Ashland. So, so a good amount of people. Okay. So, and you have morning and afternoon? Just afternoon over in Ashland. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how you can be here that's in the morning. All right. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so what would you say to kids about why is being organized a good thing to do? Being organized is a very good characteristic. Um, it's important because when you're going to 
do your tasks in the school and at home, it's easier to find those things that you need and it gets the task done faster and more efficiently. So that's pretty important. Right. Yeah. All right. So remember, kids, put your things where you know how to find them again so you can do what you want to do fast and efficiently. Thank you so much, You're Alex. Welcome. I'm here with Jim Cousins, who is the big man on campus at HCAM. I think general manager, what do we call you? Station manager. Station manager, okay. Um, and we're here to talk about being organized as a really good character trait to have. So, Jim, um, I know everyone has their own kind of organization, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you have yours. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about that? I've narrowed mine down to one rule, and when I have something... If, I'm, if it has to go somewhere, I'm going to put it down. So I put it where it belongs. Awesome. I never say, I'll put it away later. Because yeah. later never happens. So I always say, I'm going to put it away right now. Brilliant. Did you hear that, kids? When you have something, put it away right now. And do they put it just anywhere? Where it belongs. Put it where it belongs. Right. And did you learn this from your parents or your wife? Or how did you learn this skill? from my dad in the workshop. Yeah. He would always say, Jimmy, borrow any tools you want, but put them back where you found them. Right. So there were a lot of times that I did not, and I got in trouble for that. Yeah. So now, I'm now teaching my kids, mm -hmm. you're welcome in the workshop, but please put the things back that you use. Right, exactly. Because if you go to find the hammer and you got a screwdriver instead, that's not gonna help you, right? Exactly. If I had a hammer, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so, um, any words of wisdom for the kids watching? That was pretty wise, but anything else you want to say? Any final, final comments for them? Uh, the only thing would be to think. Think about what you're doing. Think about where it's going, because when you're not thinking, that's when you forget. Yeah, that makes sense. When you're not thinking, that's when you forget. Right. So put it, put it back where it belongs right away, and remember to think, because when you're not thinking, that's when you forget. Thank you very much. I'm here with Kaylee, Kevin, and Kira, and they're in the same family. Um, so we're here to talk about being organized, and I want to start with Kaylee. Um, Kaylee is a great student. She's always eager to help and do the right thing. And I want to ask you, why is being organized a good thing? Because if you, like, lo if you lost something when you weren't organized, right. then um, you wouldn't be able to find it. And if it was something you really loved, then you would be quite angry or sad. Right. So if you put it where you, you know where it's always going to be, you can always find it there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And how about in school? How, how is being organized in school a good thing? Because um, a lot of people usually lose there's stuff like stuff that they really need for school, like their ruler or something. Mm -hmm. And if you had that stuff, then you, um, you'll be able to follow directions. Like Great. So if your teacher says, everyone take out their ruler, and you know right where your ruler is, you can get it right away. Right? Good. And when you look inside your desk, do you have all your books on one side and folders on the other side? Or how did you organize it? Because everyone does it a little differently. I just follow my teacher's rules. Okay, that's <laughs> smart. Good See, answer. smart. Good answer and good thinking, and I know that's true. Okay, so let's go to your dad and um, ask your dad about being organized and how he organizes, because everyone organizes a little differently, and some people aren't organized, and that's just how they are. So, Kevin, tell us about being organized and why it's a good thing. Uh, I think it's a good thing. It, it uh, keeps things where you know they're going to be, so if you put stuff back keeps your day organized, um, keeps your thoughts organized. So if you write things down and make lists, uh, make things easier. Great, that's right, it does. Okay, and Kira, Kira, what grade are you in? Um, kindergarten. Okay, kindergarten starts with a K too. And so in kindergarten, do you have a desk? No. You have tables, right? And is your classroom organized? You know, everything is in one place, all the books are in one place, and the toys. Can you tell us about the organization of your class? Um, books in one place? Yeah. So is there a library section? Yeah. yeah. And is there a toy section? Yeah. And is there a, what other sections do they have? 
Um, they have, I think that's it. What about your cubbies and stuff? Um, there's, cu there's like a closet that you put your stuff in. Okay. So when you come in the door, do you just throw everything all over the floor? No. No. You put them where they belong, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so is it a closet that you have hooks or is it a cubby? There's a closet that you have hooks. Okay, and do you, so you have a hook for your coat, do you have shelves for your lunchbox or, or backpack or does it go underneath? A shelf. Okay, and do the shelves have names on them? No. No, you just know where yours is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell me about, you, in your room at home, do you have all of your toys in one place and your books in another place and all of your clothes in another place? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and when you come in your room, do you, so you know exactly where to find what you want? Yes. Yes, because you're organized, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So who is the most organized of the three of you, Kira? Um, mm. Daddy. <laughs> that, you, I think he likes that answer. Because, <laughs> um, you know, my guess is this is what Kaylee wanted to talk about, so I think she's probably pretty organized. You probably all are pretty organized. They're, they're pretty organized. They are. Yeah. They, they put stuff back where it belongs, and so next time they know where it is. Right. That's great. Well, thank you so much. So what do we want to tell people about why it's good to be organized? So give some people at, at home watching the TV show, why, give them your advice about being organized. You should put stuff back where you um, will find it later. Okay, I'm going to go to Kay, uh, Kira now. Um, What's some advice for other kids your age? Why should they put things back? Because then you will find it where it is. Perfect. And Dad, what do you think? Uh, I think that was a good answer. Find it where it uh, will be next time you need it. Hey, uh, Piggy Wiggy, have you seen my pen? I was writing with it and I put it somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, yeah, I know where that is. Hold on. This pen? Uh, yeah, thanks. And, uh, I was reading a book. Do you happen to know where that is? It was, like, blue. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. Hold on. This book? Yeah, that's, that's the book I was talking about. And, uh, I really want to eat some cookies that I had earlier. I, I'm not sure where I put them. Did you see them? Uh, were they in a blue package? Yeah, they were. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Hold on. Thanks, Piggy Wiggy. You're the best. Oh, yeah, I, I just noticed stuff, and I figured I might want to use it or someone needed it, so I just pay attention. I'm kind of organized like that. Well, I'm glad you are. Thank you. Yay! Ruth Buzzy again, and I'm back from my busy day buzzing around, and I have to tell you that I got everything done that I wanted to get done today. I fed the babies in the beehive. I made some bee cells, six sides, like I told you before. I went to collect nectar. I came back to the beehive, and I did a little dance. I did the honey dance to show the other bees where the, the nectar was so they could all go find it. I had a lot of things to do, but you know what? I got them all done because I'm organized. And you know what? When anyone asks me, how did I do this? I'm happy to tell them. I don't say, that's none of your beeswax. I tell them. I just go out, I do my job, I come back, I put the honey where it's supposed to go, I put the nectar where it's supposed to go, I take care of the babies where they are, I come and do the bee dance in that certain place, and every single cell that I build has six sides because that's how bees build their nests, because we're organized. And being organized is part of having a good character, even for bees. So why is being organized a good character trait? 
Why do people keep lists, use organizers in school, have calendars and planners and agendas? Why do bees make six-sided cells for their nests and all have a specific job to do? As we heard from our interviews in today's show, everyone feels that being organized helps you get things done more efficiently and on time. Imagine a beehive where all the bees did all the jobs. It would be chaos. Bees have specific jobs and that is all they do. Even the queen bee just lives to produce more bees. Their organized, efficient behavior means we have honey and plants that produce flowers and fruit. Without bees, we wouldn't have many of our delicious and healthy foods and the world wouldn't be so beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks, Ruth Buzzy and bee friends. Keep on being organized. Christina Anderson works at the post office and spoke of the organization in their workroom. There are bins and piles and shelves for all of the different outgoing mail. Incoming mail goes into post office boxes in number order. Can you imagine what it would be like if the numbers were all mixed up? It would take workers more time and people coming to get their mail would have to memorize the location, which takes more effort and maybe more time. It seems like a little thing, but organizing in number order makes things go more efficiently, just like being alphabetized in the library. At home, Christina keeps lists for her off work life. A list means you can check to make sure you got everything done. Good idea, Christina. Our YMCA kids, Caleb, Julia, and Isabella agreed that being organized is a good thing. Caleb said that being organized helps you get things done, and he knows that keeping a desk organized is important so you can find things. Julia and Isabella said that being organized means you can find things that you need. They agreed that being organized helped them earn their Girl Scout badges since there was a list of things to follow and taking care of that list one thing at a time helped them get everything done without forgetting any part of the requirements. Alex, the YMCA Schools Out site manager, spoke of keeping track of employees at the morning and afternoon programs that he manages daily. He needs a certain number of employees to take care of the children to make sure they are able to provide a safe, fun, healthy program. If the program didn't run well, parents wouldn't send the kids and the business wouldn't do well. Being organized is important to run a good business. Alex is responsible for making sure the program runs efficiently with all of the expected employees in place at each location. He is probably also responsible for making sure the supplies and equipment needed are on hand as well. These needs require lists and record keeping, which are part of being organized and which help businesses run smoothly and efficiently. Jim Cousins, the HCAM station manager, spoke of his father instilling in him the value of being organized when he encouraged him to put his tools back in the place he took them from. His dad also asked that Jim put things back right away, so that was a priority, and I am guessing that it got done if it was the first thing he was supposed to do after using the tool. Good advice, Mr. Cousins Sr. The other thing Jim said was that you should think so you don't forget. That sounds simple, since we think we are thinking all the time. But paying attention to our thoughts is a way of being organized. If we are paying attention to the things which are a priority, then they get done. If we let our thoughts distract us from important tasks that help us do things well, such as putting a tool away right away and where it belongs, the next time we go to find that tool, it might not be there. Pay attention. Organize your thoughts. Make priorities on paper or in your mind, and then things will get done more efficiently. Kaylee, Kevin, and Kira seem to be good at being organized. Kaylee said that being organized is good in school because when you need to find something, you know where it is. She mentioned knowing where her ruler is when she needs it, since she puts it in a certain place in her desk, and that's being organized. She also said that she follows her teacher's direction, and I know that Mrs. Abaraju is a very organized teacher. So Kayla benefits from organized lessons and from the order of assignments in class. 
Kevin, Kaylee's dad, said that being organized saves time and helps you do things more efficiently. This helps at home and at work. Kira, Kaylee's sister, said being organized means you know where stuff is. Good thinking, Kira. Our puppets showed us why being organized is a good thing. Ready Freddy couldn't find some things, and Piggy Wiggy, very kindly and without judgment, found the things that were misplaced. Piggy Wiggy has an organized mind and probably noticed where Ready Freddy had put the missing items and remembered where she saw them. Being an organized person means you notice things that might be needed in the future and remember where they are. It's like making a list in your mind. Piggy Wiggy's ability to be organized helped Ready Freddy. Being organized is a good character trait. If it doesn't come naturally to you, you can practice it. And we all know that practice makes perfect. Being organized means things get done in order, completely, and without wasting time. School goes better, businesses run more efficiently, and families get things done. The familiar saying, a place for everything and everything in its place, is about being organized. When you put something back where it belongs, you can find it again and get things done. When you make a list, you don't forget important things. You should try it, because being organized is a good character trait and character matters. You can watch Character Matters here on HCAM Thursdays at 6.30 p.m., Friday at 5 p.m., Saturday at 9.30 p.m., and Monday at 2.30 p.m., or online at hcam.tv slash character matters. You never know who will show up. My name is Margie Wiggin, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join.